live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Nick Strawn. And this is episode 42. Ah. Uh, a family man becomes a vigilante. Wait, a family man becomes a vigilante killing machine when his family is violently attacked by robbers. Exactly. And he's a doctor. I I love it when that sort of thing happens. He's not an architect, but he's a doctor. Well, yeah. He's an architect doctor. (laughs) Which, I love movies that do multiple screens. Multiple screams? Like, split screens and then multiple, like, things going on at once. I, I like that. This film didn't do that. Yeah, it did. A couple times. Did and it? And one time, the first time it did it was when you were in the bathroom. Oh, good. Okay. And it was a split screen. Yeah. We'll get into it later. Okay. But, and then there was like another scene where they were showing multiple scenes. You don't remember that? No, they I don't. They had like at least four different things going on at once. Really? Yeah. Did I see, did I, I should be t- paying attention. A little montage action uh, a couple mon- times. Uh, yeah. Montage? Yeah. The first Is, montage. Isn't that a French word? You went to pee during the montage. Oh, okay. Well, so we'll did anybody a, get killed during the montage? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> then I have nothing to say. You left right when the uh-uh was hitting the uh-uh. fan. <laughs> <laughs> when he well, took a huge well. turn, his character arc took a big turn. Can Can I say oh. that this film really had some great makeup effects? Yeah, it you did. Can say that. Really? Yeah. I mean, there there was yeah there was uh yeah. Should we t- say what movie we're talking about? Because I just read oh, the description. Oh, should, should I forgot to mention it. Uh, Bruce yeah, Willis, okay. Death Wish. It's the remake of the 1974. Death Wish. Which is not really a remake if he was an architect. Anyway. Yeah, well. He yeah. wasn't a liberal, bleeding heart liberal architect <laughs> that Charles Branson, Bronson yeah, was. was. This was oddly non-political. <laughs> <laughs> it was well, kind of political. Uh, yeah. a little, eh, they mentioned the AR rifle, for one. Yeah, uh, yeah, the AR-15. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's... But but you know the thing is is you got to remember when they were making this movie it wasn't such a big deal right and today it's a big deal yeah so, there you go huh anyway yeah, you got, yeah. not Uh-oh. to bring our so our, our thing not to down bring anybody down <laughs> I actually I don't want to bring anybody down I went into this with my doubts because I think Bruce Willis is starting to get a little old and I was like I wish they would have when I, when I first heard about this I was like why didn't they make this fifteen years ago see but I gotta tell you the truth. He was still great in this. He's like he reminds I mean, me of Harrison Ford. Really, honestly, he just <laughs> he never like he just, gets old. Really, well, he, he looks a little shriveled a little bit now. A little bit, but still, he's got like thousand times the grace and kick butt of he's anybody out enough. there. He's old enough to be the grandfather of the girl that he was is the father to. <laughs> yeah, he was the father to. <laughs> That's what's weird about this. <laughs> yeah, he's you know, remember he's thirty years old, 40, <laughs> 30, 40 years old. And yeah, he's like. Uh, so okay. I, yeah, I went into it like with not a, with low expectations, and I actually really liked this. I one. really liked. I this. thought it was awesome. I got to tell you, my expectations were really low because yeah. I never really particularly liked Death Wish, the yeah. original well, one. Well, Charles Bronson. I don't yeah. remember the yeah, first I, original I, one. I, yeah, and I remember I the never, following ones, like three I, and four. I never liked Charles Bronson. <laughs> I thought he was. He, I never believed Charles Bronson is a badass. Really, I no. Mean, I mean, he had he had this just. Just the face. Crazy. That, that look. That I believe crazy, that he could be crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Bruce Willis, well, this had did have little tidbits from, like, I think he played it like he does at Die Hard, you know, basically. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> I mean, that's what totally I'm getting at. Was I don't think he's characters. the best actor, but I think. No, but he's. But you know what action? he is really good at? Being Bruce Willis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little well like The Rock. The Rock isn't the best actor, but. Yeah, but he sure does The <laughs> Rock well. Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was a badass. I anyway. really liked the the action was awesome. I mean, for an action movie, it was good. It, the plot was kind of predictable, but there was a little thing that was kind of hanging there that we didn't really know. For yeah, sure. that was. It, There's a mystery. It was weird. So Death Wish know? Two is yeah. probably going to be look out for his. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Maybe the <laughs> might have something to do with something. I don't, I don't know, know what the hell the <laughs> was up to. I think I think that he's uh, going to feature heavily in part two. Yeah, and you know. 
he's one of my favorite. Vince, Vincent D'Onofrio is a oh, yeah, he's a freaking personal. amazing actor, and I think he's underrated. I don't see him in enough what stuff. What was one of his first things? Do you remember? Actually, one of my favorite movies with him was, I hate to say this because it's kind of embarrassing because yeah. probably it's, most people don't really like this movie. Yeah. The Cell. Do tell. Do you remember, did you ever see The Cell with Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> I hate to bring that up. No. But no, he was an amazing, he was the bad guy. And he like basically kidnapped Jennifer Lopez and put her in this big water tank. Really? You would like it because it had water involved, like mantis. But. <laughs> Just <laughs> drive me nuts, yeah. <laughs> no, but he put her in this, it was the cell, and he was putting her in water and like torturing her basically. Uh, he, uh, I remember the first time I saw him was in, uh, hom- Homicide, uh, Life on yeah, the yeah. Streets. And, they had, and it was just one episode, but I, I guess he gets involved in a, an accident. Uh, he gets pushed off of a, a, a subway platform in front of the subway. Oh. And the thing is, is he's alive, but he's already dead, really. You know, and he's he's hanging there, and basically the, the the thing that was like amusing about it, and I have to say it, it was really pretty music, was that you kept cutting from, kept cutting from the top of him. Just you just see this much of him, right? You right, know, just the top part. In, in yeah. between, in between the you know the thing in the and uh, the subway platform and the sub, subway car. Right there was just that gap right there, and he's in it, right, and he's in it from about, you know, chest high up, and obviously he's facing away from the car, right, but then they kept cutting down to, underneath where his body is facing, the, the car. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> See? Yeah, yeah. So he's dead man not walking (laughs) (laughs) that's pretty twisted yeah oh it was twisted but but you know the thing is is, was like this is as soon as we get him out he's not going to make it you know and and his wife is jogging around town and they're trying to find his wife and it was like yeah yeah but i really liked him i was like wow you know i almost kind of wish he'd lived through this yeah but he wasn't going to well you know Uh, well the cell is one that it wasn't his best movie I mean, Jennifer Lopez isn't the most amazing actress, <laughs> but it was a movie. It was about a crazy guy that, and he was really awesome at playing crazy. So I like him better doing that than I did uh, watching, you know, CSI or whatever it is. That right. He's, he's on now. What is he on now? What he's, is he on now? He's on one of those CSIs. Oh, I remember Full Metal Jacket. That's right. He was on that. He was the one that. Uh, R- really? He, he he's the one that went crazy in Full Metal Jacket. Oh, that's right. He plays right. crazy yeah. right. He plays oh, crazy he, no, great. No, he does crazy really well. Yeah. Law and Order. That's what it is. Law, Law and Order. Yeah, sure. Criminal Law and Order. Intent. Oh, yeah. he was yeah. yeah. He was in that forever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he actually he actually got 141 episodes at least. Yeah, because it was enough episodes for him to get uh, to go from skinny to really heavy back to skinny again. <laughs> right. I never understood. Yeah, you know. I, he's well. no munch though. I gotta say. He's what? <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. 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 No, but yeah, he's a, he's an awesome actor. I think actually all the acting was pretty decent. I didn't. I actually like the guy that came from a. I, can't, I don't know the. I can't, I'm, see, I have trouble with names. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm never good with names. <laughs> the guy that was on uh, Breaking Bad, <laughs> and he was the brother-in-law that was the cop. I guess, yeah, he always, see, I guess he's you know, been typecasted. I, I, I have a huge hole in my. You know, I I've never seen Breaking Bad, <sighs> and and I think that that's a a, a hole in my uh, in my recent uh, social experience class. That's a, yeah. That's a. I it can is. tell it, my wife she would probably like that one. I'm just. I would. You know, I've tried to watch it several times. I just find it incredibly dark. I mean, I just. Oh, that's what's good about it. Especially the first, the first ten minutes of the first episode is great of the Breaking Bad. It sucked <laughs> me in. I'm like, I gotta see more. It opened with him in his underwear in an RV, driving like a maniac. I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so the guy's name is Dean Norris. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, there you go. But yeah. Oh, he was Bruce Willis was in that film too. Oh, oh yeah. well, that's that's yeah, the yeah, one yeah. I just saw though. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought the doc, the daughter yeah, Dean was Norris, good enough. Dean Norris was great. The other, the cop partner was decent. I yeah, mean, she was, he was, eh. yeah, he was. It was kind of like the daughter. Dressing. Daughter was kind of eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The wife was, I thought the wife was good. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, Elizabeth Shue, yeah. Oh, let's talk about the effects and stuff, because there were some amazing things going on. Like, the, the, uh, the, and they're the, horror. The, I, yeah, the makeup effects were, and you know, the weird thing is, is this, is I guess they just knew that they had a great effects guy to do makeup effects, because 
you know, the two cases of it was like, oh, it surprised me. I yeah. was like, well, that's supposed to be just a normal death. And right. It just, it's it suddenly just, a horror it film. It was just the detail <laughs> of it was awesome. And there yeah. was one shot outside the house that reminded me of Halloween where they kind of creeping up on the house slowly. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Point, <laughs> like, yeah. They, no, they did. They did a couple of point of view shots. And yeah. That. And I kept thinking, oh, even the brother, but it didn't turn out to me. So, you know. In the beginning, they had like a really long shot. I was hoping they would stay with that aerial shot for a while longer than they did. And then zoom in, you know, so they just cut to the police car. Yeah, yeah. And then I, the, the long shot where they were following him all the way in into the surgery. Oh, yeah. Like all the yeah. way in from the building. The, all the, the way west through. wing shot. It was like two shots. The really. west wing shot. Yeah. They broke it in. I think they broke it up too much. I was wanting to see it as one big see, shot. Oh, kind of yeah. like a Boogie yeah, Nights no, type really. of shot. Well, yeah. Or, or the West Wing shots. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and there yeah. was some gore, uh, shockingly gore. Like, yeah. So, so yeah, if, if yeah, you have a gore, problem with blood it, and guts. It, yeah. yeah. It, if you have a problem with blood and guts uh, and uh, people getting shot in the head and, and seeing the results, yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. So, the first montage you missed was yeah. amazing. Because it was, so it was him like doing surgery, pulling bullets out of people. Right. And at the same time, he's loading a gun and learning how to shoot it. Oh, and putting and, bullets in people. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So it was, it oh, was. So that, oh, so, so it was, it was like a, a symphony. juxtaposition. It's like of, a symphony. Of violence versus, you know, savior. I don't know <laughs> what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was it what. It was like music. I like it, how they did it. It was like music. And it was a very short montage. Mm-hmm. And that was right before the, the turning point where he's like, you know, he makes that. Right, right. To, he did. But yeah. You know, yeah. Takes. Yeah. Boom, boom. Boom. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. the guy in the hoodie. The white guy in a hoodie. White guy. You never I, hear that. I like dude. that white guy. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, and, and, and if you like ice cream men. <laughs> this is definitely a show for you. <laughs> maybe, well, if you like ice cream, maybe not. No, I don't ice, know. ice cream, ice cream men. <laughs> so, what are you going to give it? Oh God! I mean, come on. Well, see, I, I'm looking at it as a death wish. Mm-hmm. It was much better than the original, mm-hmm. don't you think? Oh yeah, I was no, surprised. No, no, no. It was. I was surprised. It it really kept me in my seat. He uh, blew. Uh, he really blew uh, Charles Bronson away. I mean, yeah, as far yeah. as well, being. no, absolutely, and f- and for the fact that it it was it was just kind of a very average film. It was really done well, but it was Eli Roth, and I mean, you know, that's yeah. his thing. I mean, he he does that kind of film, and uh, he does it well. I think it was kind of a run of a mill action movie, but I think I'd rate rate it higher just because I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean just for the sheer enjoyment, I'm going to put it at four point two. Whoa, four point two M fifteens. So wow. that's that's four M fifteens and um, the bump stock <laughs> <laughs> and the illegal bump stock. I might add. I'd put Soon. it. Uh, I guess an illegal bump stock. Yeah, overall, I'd put it at a, at a four, even four. Yeah, you Pretty know what it reminded four, me of? Four, 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 one, two, three, four. It reminded four. me of something. Oh God, here we go. It, it <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I can't wait. What, what oh, did it remind you? <laughs> story time. Story time. With story time with Mick. 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 What? What was that? Did you hear that? I I hear that sound all the time. That that <laughs> that that sort of semi musical kind of like. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> anyway. Is that your brain? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that that's uh, all up here. <laughs> that's all up here. It's all up here. Wow. So. <laughs> Speaking of turning points. Yeah, turning points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A U turn in my own brain. So, <laughs> it reminded me of Armed Response. Oh. Which, uh, very old film. And and you might want to look this up. It's not that old. You, well, oh, really? <laughs> look it up, dude. <laughs> it's got to be pretty old. Armed Response. Whoa, there's a remake? Wesley that's Snipes? that's no the oh. original. <laughs> Sorry, armed. Ar- 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 keep going. Oh, 86. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's not old. 86. 
Well, okay. when people say a really old film, I think Fred, of like Charlie Chaplin or something with the potatoes. Fred Roland, old Fred Roland, <laughs> Fred Olin Ray. So we're working in Chinatown with that dip right there. <laughs> see, see, see that dip right there. Um, David Carradine. Okay. Now here's the thing: you have to understand is Carradine to me was uh. Kung Fu Master, right? Right. He yeah. was Kung he was he was the Kung Fu Master and it was all about peace and, and the thing is is they would they would interview him, you know, at his house and his house would have no furnishings. <laughs> and it was just a mat that he uh, slept on, you know. Yep. It, literally, literally they interviewed him before in, in a Life magazine or one of the time or one of the you know blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so this pure white house, you know, like Japanese style you know very austere and 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 here here's the mat that he sleeps on he didn't sleep with a pillow you know and all the rest of that crap it was it was as as he lived it asianly pretentious as you possibly could get so i he was my hero i mean he was i I thought he was so cool so i get on this film armed response fred olin ray directed it and uh this is one of uh, fred olin Fred Olin Ray's kind of like moves into the big time. Now he was known for, uh, I was working with Tazzle Bauer and Tazzle Bauer had worked with Fred Olin Ray before. And, and he would sell, he was famous for selling, uh, motion pictures, uh, that were undeveloped. He would go up and he would oh. shoot the whole film and he would take really brilliant stills of it all the way through. And then he would sell it with the script uh. and the, and, uh, uh, story uh, uh, and the stills, and then you know, as soon as he got like the down payment on the money for it Finish and stuff, he, he developed it and finished <laughs> the film. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he was, and the, and the way that he did it was, you know, he, he could do multiple films at once, or or he would do. Well, Tazzle said that uh, they would go up into Sand Canyon, uh, which is up above L.A. Uh, kind of like the deserty looking area, right? And, and he says they go and they would dig a, a pit, like a, a foxhole, right? And then they would um, put the camera in the foxhole so that it was a <laughs> point of view of the foxhole, right? And and uh, they would have actors all set up and and run at the camera, right? And Tazzle would would do an air mortar explosion. <laughs> All this crap and be thrown up in the air, and 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 they'd come over, you know, towards the camera, and that would be one shot, and then they'd turn the camera like a uh, quarter, and they'd do it again, and they come all the way through sixty, all the way around, and keep doing. Do, do, he was just, he just said that it was just the craziest stuff, you know, and 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 so Taz, when I started working in special effects with Taz, which we did Witchboard together and House and. Um, uh, the uh, the kindred, yeah, the kindred, but just a bunch of you know horror films in that period, mm-hmm. just doing special effects, and uh, so Taz brings me on to Armed Response, and I get to meet this guy, this you know, right? And I was hero. still new <laughs> enough in the business so that there were a couple of people that you know I I held up starstruck hero. basically, yeah, or almost. And he was a staggering drunk screwed up he had he had this bandolier made out of uh th- that was in costume that was a bunch of had a bunch of uh, hand grenades uh hanging on it on the bandolier <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and the thing is is they were all little uh, flask bottles <laughs> <laughs> so he would be drinking out of this <laughs> Before every shot, he would be drinking out of this grenade, right? You know, and 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 wow. so, and, and so we're over, <laughs> we're rigging this body, right? And we're gonna blow this body up, and so we uh, we take and we lace it with a prima cord, right? Uh, and uh, <laughs> and while we're rigging it, Tazzo and I are both looking around it, and we're, we're like, I'm drinking roll holes in the foam and bringing the prime accord around here and here and prime accord just by the way for those of you who don't know is it's basically an explosive it isn't really an explosive 
technically, because what it technically is something that really burns incredibly uh, fast, yeah. so fast that it looks like an explosion. Tassel used to describe it as this. If you had a piece of prime accord that went all the way from New York to uh, California and somebody was in New York and you knew the moment they lit it, you wouldn't have time to pull it out of your ass before it blew up. <laughs> <laughs> that's how fast it burns <laughs> it was that fast it was that fast <laughs> and, and and therefore it sounded like an explosion you know because it, it was that violent you know that violence was what so it was just this cloth looking cord mm. that you know was uh was a hell of an explosion so we're <laughs> drilling holes and and we're rigging through and just being very careful with it and he would pass the hole <laughs> He would pass it through, and I'd grab it from the other side and go through another hole and send it back. And da, 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 da. And David Carradine came up behind us with a blank loaded M16 oh. and fired it off into the air. And the two of us. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I, I swear to God, I, I jumped so far. You, you know, and, and I, and honestly, God, I just knew I was dead. Uh, it's like, I was just having a moment there, you know? <laughs> wow. I mean, I've been through a lot of crappy things, but that was really crappy. So he was just being a dick, basically. Oh, he was just, he was just being a complete dick. So, so later on, <laughs> so later on, we're shooting Sweeney guns. Now, Sweeney gun was a uh, it it was a gun that fired a ball before paintballs. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you know. But it was specifically made. It was like hand built by this guy Sw Sweeney, and uh, and if you were a effects guy, you could rent them out from just his. I mean, he didn't he didn't sell any of them. He just rented them out, and and all of Hollywood bought them all the time. Huh. And it was a clear plastic ball about that big, and you could put anything you wanted in it. You could put uh, dust in it, and you could make it look like, uh, like if you hit a brick wall, it looked like a bullet hit a uh, brick yeah, wall, yeah. you know? You could put um, Zerks in it, okay. which are little, uh, 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 Zerk is uh, kind of like a small kind of explosive, you know? It, it, they're what they make poppers out of. Oh, okay. Right? You know? Yeah, yeah. So we, we put, you know, like basically what you would put in a popper, we'd put those in. We'd put all kinds of different things in them, right? You could put blood in them, all, all kinds of stuff. So so later on that night, I mean, later on that night, like four in the morning, we have to shoot dust hits against a block wall. One of us is shooting dust hits, and the other is, is shooting uh, uh, Zerx hit, hits, uh, supposedly like on a metal surface, right? Right. And uh, <laughs> and we had to shoot right behind him as he <laughs> ran in front of us. <laughs> right. And uh, I think that we we actually caught him like three times. <laughs> like, he's like, ow, you guys are freaking am drawing so sorry, Mr. <laughs> Cody. I'm really, really sorry. You know, I, 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 I'm so tired. It's been such a long night. Oh man. And, oh God, we were just brutal with him. You know, it, it, it was tit for tat. That's, <laughs> right. the way go, that's the way it was and he turned and the thing is he was such a dick there wasn't anybody that could complain to because everybody was like oh that's so, I'm sorry oh that, oh, that's man. terrible I can't believe you guys would do that you know while they're clapping right, right. <laughs> so um, anyway well, so well, he that's lived to have a horrible death <laughs> yeah he, he uh, yeah yeah <laughs> He's a horrible, horrible human being. What's weird is there's a movie in post production under him. Really? It's just weird. I don't know. Anyway. Mata Hari. Well, he did. I, I mean, he was known for doing the cheapest films in the world. Um, and I should oh. talk. So. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm looking at uh, Tassels? Yeah, Tassels. Yeah, that's Tassels. Uh, IMDb page is oh, pretty yeah. interesting. Oh, yeah. House, killer clowns from outer space. See, that's one that I have always liked. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a classic. I was with him on the Kindred. Which board is awesome? Yeah, all, right down the line. Da da da. 
armed response, house, runaway train, and 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 then by the time we got to a nightmare on Elm Street, I had started doing art department stuff. Isn't it house the one with the? I remember the graphic on the box was like a finger or something. Yeah, something like that. I don't know why yeah. I remember that. Yeah, it is. Look. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. right. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. I remember uh, renting that. Okay, we're done. Yeah, right. We're done with I this mean, one. I mean, his. You know, sometimes, sometimes, they just die of old age. That's right. <laughs> I'm sure that's what this one did. Thank you for joining us on the Dream Warrior Review. This is Kurt Thomas along with Nick Strawn. We appreciate you listening to us. And please let your friends and family know about how awesome we are. You can hit us up at DreamWarriorReview at gmail.com or you can find us on Twitter and Facebook at DW Review. We'll see you next time on the Dream Warrior Review. Yeah.